Okay, so I found a few image textures and uh, for the windows. So let's see how we, we are going to approach this. So I can go to, I'll just add a new material here. I'll call this window one. Add an image texture. So, so we're going to use a few different images. And I think the, the best, uh, I think the easy way, the, the easy way to approach this is uh, for every texture we want to apply here, uh, any variation of a window we're going to apply here, we will be using a different texture and then we can bake the color texture into one image after we do all that. So let's see what other images we have. So I'll just drop this image here, which is uh, this here. Connect that uh, to the base color. And um, I just need to assign uh, that to all these windows. You can see that uh, it's too large, so we can go to edit mode, UV editing, and uh, maybe bring that image in. I uh, can switch this to texture mode, scale uh, this. So I'll sc uh, we, we can select this face, one window like this, and uh, Scale it to fit uh, this window, so something like that. That will be our first window. And uh, we can also have a variation of this, so not that. Let's select this, so this face here. We can have uh, this texture here, so scale it to fit can get a darker, maybe this here can be that. So you can see there's some variation. And uh, let's, I was actually looking at this, but uh, you can see that uh, we have some uh, variation. Now we can also create another material so call this windows light lights on one uh, because we'll have a d uh, other windows that uh, use a different texture uh, then i can make another window material i'll call this lights off maybe one as well uh, make sure that i click on this uh, so that this is a copy and so this is going to be on one and this is off one so for the off we're going to find a different texture for windows uh, that are closed and uh, i think i have the right one here so let me save that and uh, bring that in so this looks okay we need to find a few windows so i think this are uh, this are uh, this this and this can be assigned uh, this material which looks a bit like that so we can go to UV editing and then select those faces I also bring uh, that image in you want to find images that have windows uh, that uh, have the same uh, width, width of aspect ratio of at least something close to what you to what you're designing. what we have now we can go to the shading 
and start working with the materials for this here. Uh, make sure that this replaces that. And uh, we need to reduce the roughness so that this is a very reflective surface uh, because they are windows. And uh, maybe you, you also want to make the metallic so that they are very, very reflective. Uh, but uh, reduce on the reflectiveness, uh, on the roughness, add some a bit, bit of roughness, something like that. And uh, also we need to do this for, so this is metallic, add in some roughness. Uh, because uh, these, are, these have lights on, uh, we need to add, to mix uh, this with, uh, with an add shader. So we connect uh, this to this, so we have something like that. Uh, so let's go back. Uh, we need um, an emitter emission shader. Connect this like that, and uh, use the color as uh, the image, our texture as as the color. Then we can increase uh, the strength just a bit that you know what I think I think we can use this change that to that and we have something like that Uh, let's change our environment lighting to a different image, maybe a night scene. We can reduce the light from the sun. And let me find a sky. Uh, uh, an environment lighting uh, that uh, is a skyline that is a city uh, building so city city design 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 night night So I'll find the texture and then now uh, we can start there from uh, part two.